All right guys, welcome to the first video in what is hopefully a long series on stuff that I'm gonna do to my DR650. This is a 2017 650, pretty much entirely stock except for the seat. It's got a sergeant seat, it's got the D606 tires. Not crazy about the tires, they're kind of buzzy on the highway and I don't do a lot of off-road riding, so I'll be swapping those out or just wear them down. Uh, the only other things he's done is he put some peg lowering mounts and uh, I'm gonna switch these up. I think I'm gonna flip them around so I can bring the pegs back because I find this a little too short of a distance and it's the same on the other side. And then the one other change the guy did is he put in this thing here and this basically makes your clutch pull really easy. Uh, the gentleman had an injury to his left hand and this clutch is incredibly easy. So those are the changes that he's done. Other than that, it's entirely stock. So what I'd like to do today, I'm gonna take this Pelican case uh, knockoff here from Princess Auto. I've got some stainless steel U-bolts and basically I'm just gonna put the U-bolts under here, poking up, drill some holes in the bottom of the case. We're gonna bolt it down. That should give us a nice little trunk space. You know, the times when you're just, you, you go to the post office and there's a small package or you're in town and your wife's like, hey, can you pick up some lettuce? It's hard to do that if you don't have a backpack on. So this will allow me to do a few more things. In the future, I might put down a few tie down points up here so I can actually lash stuff on top of it, but shouldn't be a very difficult project. Let's get on it. All right, first things first, let's have a look at this case. It's a little softer than other ones that I have. Well, latches seem pretty good. And all of our foam, which will be coming out. I think that should be all right. Should give us a decent amount of storage. Yeah, this is, this is a little flexier than other ones I've seen, but I think it should be fine once we bolt it down. Let's see what the bottom of this is gonna look like. This is, ah. I'm gonna try it. Look at this. That is not a super strong case, is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what this is like on the bike. All right, so something like that. You know, I think it's gonna be strong enough. Some of the hard cases I've seen on other motorbikes aren't exactly the most rigid things on earth. And I mean, when it's together, it's definitely a lot better. I think this is gonna add a lot of versatility to this little ride. Picked up a little motorbike jack at Princess Auto as well. Now, I can work in blind. What's it like on that side? I don't know. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. I think I'll we'll just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. Eyeball it. Kind of just lining this line of plastic up with where it hits on the rack. You go this way a little bit. I'm gonna measure from here to here, and then I'm just gonna actually mark out where these rails are. So I'll just draw a Sharpie tracing these rails, and then I can kind of hold it up and drill out the holes from there. I think that looks good. Kids are out there on their motorbikes again. I like that. It's gonna be a little more difficult getting on and off the bike, but uh, you know, I'll have to work my hip flexors. Maybe we'll do some jazzercise. Now let's give this a little trace. Here's what we're going by. We've got this tube right here. So we'll probably put this like this, like this. And then I was only able to mark out the inside. Thought we could just kind of figure out roughly where that would go. Yeah, it's not, not that complicated. Okay, let's do it. All right, folks, moment of truth. What do y'all think? It will be a little bit awkward. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Oh, I think we'll be all right. That looks pretty good to me. It's actually a little bit further back than I had laid it out, which is okay, because it, you know, just gives you a little more room. And then we have support out to here. And then we're fastened there and there. So I think this is gonna be all right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those bolts on and tighten everything roughly down so I can see, you know, with nuts on how high these need to be. And with the exception of this one right here, I think they are all in the perfect spot. So 
that makes me feel better. I am able to center it perfectly on the bike before I tighten it. Uh, before I get to that part, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little silicone on these and then I'll get some washers and uh, goop them up, lock tight it down, and then we'll cut these all flush. And I think I'm gonna put that egg crate foam on the bottom. That way it'll kind of protect things from this. I think we should take this for a little rip and see what it's like. Oh, the one thing I wanted to see is how awkward it is to mount the motorbike with that on. Oh, <laughs> I can do your old super one. Cool. Oh, it's not so bad. It's probably no more difficult than anyway. Oh yeah. Actually, I bet that will give the kids a lot of confidence. Actually, it'll give me confidence when I've got the kids on here because I'm not gonna feel like they're gonna fly off the back. What do you think? How's that look? I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's going to be rad. Alright guys, I got back from the ride and uh, picked up the mail. This thing worked fantastic. You know, just the idea of this, I'm really excited about the fact that I've got this much volume. Like, this will get you some groceries. I could put milk in here. Obviously not testing its full on waterproofness because it's not coming down that bad, but I'm really excited about this and I think it doesn't look too bad either. You know, it's kind of like cheap. And again, you know, with that thing being on there, I'm gonna feel so much better, especially with my eight-year-old when I take him for rides. He always kind of relaxes his grip, and I'm like, dude, hold on, you know? So this will help him from falling off the bike when we're heading down the road. Anyways, guys, super excited about this, and uh, stay tuned for more videos about this motorbike. Cheers.